right, friends, so I just finished my workout. I'm running a little bit behind. Got church this morning, serving in the kids' ministry. So I'm going to grab my breakfast to go head to church. Can I be honest that that workout killed me, but it felt so good. I felt like I did two years ago when I started the journey, getting up early, getting a workout in, going about my day. So I feel really good. I feel really, really happy, really excited, ready to take on the day. So we're going to take on the day together. serving in the kids ministry today and man what a sweet day it was like it today I just noticed for the first time kids being interested in the cause of Christ and learning more about Jesus and about biblical truths and so we had these amazing conversations about the Bible and what they've heard what they've read what they don't understand what they need better interpretation on questions that challenged me and is that not what it's all about is that we wouldn't come to think that we know it all, but that we would be humbled by the eagerness, the expe expectation, the questions, the just, I don't even know of a child. I mean, it, Jesus even says that to be like a child is what he desired. And I feel like today I really was taken aback with the students and the kids that we have and their questions about Jesus and learning more about him. I mean, I'm just in awe of it. I, I pray that this moment never leaves me and that there will be more moments like these that I get to be a part of. But my heart just, it feels so good to be a part of something like that because if you don't know my story, which many of you don't, I accepted Jesus when I was in middle school um, because of the youth ministry that I was involved with. And so it's so beautiful to see that other young kids at a young age are accepting Jesus, wanting to learn about Jesus, wanting to pursue Jesus. Like that is beautiful because here we are in my personal life, 10, 11 years later, and I get to teach the gospel of Jesus to people all around the world through social media. And so you cannot downplay the pursuit of a child as he wants or she wants to know about the Lord. You can't because there's so many great things that the Lord has for children and childlike faith is what he all wants us to get to. So that's just a, a rant of something of witnessing God and his with his good self, as my mother would say, just displaying himself and, and piercing the heart of children and in that really doing something to my heart as well. So such a beautiful, beautiful thing that I witnessed today. I'm so thankful to the Lord. Um, I'm about to head to the store. With that being said, I'm about to head to the store and pick up some like spring mix salad. I plan to make a quesadilla today. I have uh, these tortilla wraps. I think they're the high fiber one. Yeah, I think so. Um, but basically, I'm going to do the tortilla wraps, uh, some rotisserie shredded chicken that I got from Walmart last week, and then pepper jack cheese, mayo, and then some of the greens. Girl, that, I pray, is going to be good. I may put an egg in it, you know, for extra protein. Come on, somebody. We'll see. We'll see. Definitely need to drink some more water today because I sweat like crazy earlier in my workout this morning so I definitely need to replenish I also want to walk I think I have 3,500 steps so if my goal is going to be 10,000 we got some stepping to do you know what I mean so uh, probably when I get home I'll spend some time with Jesus first and foremost before I get busy with all my to-dos and then I will walk eat 
edit because last night I didn't really edit like that. So need to do that. But let's get it, let's let's get it popping. Let's get it started. I am on a high right now. Very, very, very thankful for what I witnessed today and what's to come. Thank you. 